Welcome to homecampus.com.sg. The order in which you do operations on a number statement will depend the answer that you get. And in order to get to the correct answer, you should know in which order you should do the operations. Okay. And this is what we're going to learn in this lesson. So I'm going to give you the word problems. We're going to try to solve word problems and then we'll determine what the correct order of operations should be. Okay. To solve a number statement. So let's get started with the word problem, a fairly simple one. Uh, this one says, Mia had five pens. She gave two to Tracy and received three more from Alex. So how many pens does she have now? Well, the number statement for, let's try the number statement for this, okay? So the number statement for this would be, she had five pens. So we write five. And she gave two to Tracy. So now she's left with five minus two. And she got three more from Alex. So she got three more from Alex. So she got three added to her account. So this is how many pens she's got left now. She has five minus two plus three. So that's the number statement for the problem given to us. But how do you solve this number statement? Do you do five minus two first or do you do two plus three first? Okay, so let's try to do five minus two first and see what answer we get, all right? So we'll do five minus two and then we'll add three to it. Now five minus two is 3 okay and then we bring this 3 and add that to here to get 6 so this says that she has now 6 pens left now how about we solve it in another way and we do 2 plus 3 first and then we subtract that from the 5 pens she had in the beginning so we keep the 5 here we say 5 minus and then we do 2 plus 3 now 2 plus 3 is again 5 so we have 5 minus 5 and that gives us 0 so this is telling us that Mia doesn't have any pens left now. Well, this is telling us that Mia now has six pens. But how do we know which one is correct? Well, the only way to find out which one is correct is to draw a model. Okay, so we'll next draw a model. Let's let's make a model. So the model says that Mia had five pens. So let's put five down here in the model. So we have... These are the number of pens that Mia had initially, okay? One, two, three, four, and five. Now, she gave two away to Tracy. So now, what she's left with is this. One, two, and three, because she's given two to Tracy. So Tracy now has two pens, but Mia only has three pens, right? This is how many pens Mia has, okay? So Mia has now three pens, and this is equal to three. But she received three more from Alex, so... Her total went up by three. So she received three for three more from Alex. So Alex gave three of his to Mia. So Mia now has this three plus this three, right? So Mia has this. And that is equal to three. Three of her own and three from Alex. So how many does she have now? This is equal to six so yes the answer is six and which is the same as this one here so what do you what do you conclude from here so the rule is do the additions and subtractions from left to right so that's rule number one do the additions and subtractions from left to right okay now how about if we have multiplications and divisions instead what do we do then so let's let's uh, take another problem okay so the next problem is Joe divided 12 eggs equally into two trays. If Emily bought three such trays of eggs, how many eggs did she buy? All right, so let's write a number statement for this. Joe divided 12 eggs into two trays. So you divide by two. And Emily bought three such trays of eggs. So she bought times three. That's the total number of eggs she bought. So she had 12 divided by two times three. This is the number of x she had, Emily. Now, how about we do the operations, okay? We carry out the operations and we see what uh, answer we get, okay? That will be the number of x that she bought. Should we do 12 divided by 2 first or should we do 2 times 3 first? Now, how do we know? So, let's do each of these. Let's first do 12 divided by 2. So, 12 divided by 2 will give you 6. And then you do times 3. So, that is equal to 18. Now, how about we do 2 times 3 first? What, what answer do we get then? So, if you do 2 times 3 first, you have the 12 as such. So, you do 12 divided by 2 times 3. So, 2 times 3 is 6. 
and the answer you get now is 12 divided by 6 which is equal to 2. So now did Emily buy 18 eggs or did she buy 2 eggs? How do we know? Well the only way to find out how many eggs she bought is to draw a model. So we draw a model, okay? Joe had 12 eggs. So let's draw the model for 12 eggs. So here is a model and we divide that into 12 parts. So that's your 12 eggs, okay? And he divided them into two trays, equally into two trays. So how many will each tray have? Well, each tray will have six each, right? Each tray will have six eggs. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and one, two, three, four, five, six. So now he has, instead of one big tray, he has two trays of six eggs each. So this is six, and this is another six. So this is... This here is tray number one, and this here is tray number two. Now, Emily bought three trays, actually. So she bought tray one, tray two, and another tray of six eggs, which would give you, which would be tray three. Uh, so Emily bought three trays of six eggs each. So then how many eggs did she buy? Well, she bought three trays of six eggs each, so she actually bought 18 eggs, which is this guy here, 18. So our order of operations is to do 12 divided by 2 first and then multiply it by 3 and not this one, okay? So what do you, what's the rule that you get from here? Well, the rule from here is that you do the divisions and the multiplications starting from the left and, moving, and you move on to the right, okay? So do all the multiplications and divisions from left to right. So that's the rule. The first rule we learned was do all the additions and subtractions from left to right. And the second rule is do all the multiplications and divisions from left to right. But how about if we have a mixture of additions and subtractions and multiplications and divisions? And what do you do? Which one do you do first? So how about we just take an example, okay? We take a word problem and then we see, uh, then we try to find out what is the right order, okay, of doing the operations. So here's my word problem which says, Peter had five apples. He bought another three bags of apples containing ten apples each. So how many apples does he have now? So let's write a number statement for this, okay? Peter had five apples. So here's your five apples. And then he added three bags of 10 apples each to this 5. So he added 3 bags of 10 apples each. So the number statement would be 5 plus 3 times 10. Okay, this is how many apples Peter has now. So Peter has 5 plus 3 times 10. So what do we do first? How do you do the, uh, how do you calculate uh, what this, what the result of this number uh, statement would be? Should we do 5 times 3 first or should we do 3 times 10 first? Let's do 5 plus 3 first and see what answer we get, okay? So 5 plus 3 is going to give us 8, and that we do times 10 to get 80. So this is telling us that he, had, he has now 80 apples. How about we do 3 times 10 first, okay? And then we see what answer we get. So we have 5 plus 3 times 10, which is 30, and that gives us 35. So the other possible answer is 35. But how, we, how do we know if 80 is the right answer or 35 is the right answer? Okay, so let's draw a model once again. So he had five apples in the beginning. Okay, so that's your five. And then he added three bags, three bags of 10 apples each. So this is one 10, one bag of uh, 10 apples. This is another bag of 10 apples. And this is his third bag of 10 apples. So now he has five apples that he had in the beginning and he bought three bags of 10 apples each. So one bag, two bag and three bags. Now how do we, how, how many apples are these? So let's count. So this is three bags of 10 apples each. So this guy here, just this guy is 30, right? And this guy here is five. So the total is 5 plus 30 and that is equal to 
35. So indeed, actually, the correct answer is this. And this is the wrong answer. So let's try to define the rule here. Okay, what is the rule of operations? Well, we saw the first rule that we should do all the additions and subtractions from left to right. And we saw the second rule that we should do all the multiplications and divisions from left to right. But when we have a combination of additions and subtractions and multiplications and divisions, then what we do is we do all the multiplications and divisions first from left to right. And after that, we do all the additions and subtractions again from left to right. Okay, so that's the rule. Now, how about we solve one more problem, okay? All right, so here's the problem. Sue drinks one glass of milk in the morning and one glass of milk at night. How many glasses of milk does she drink in a week? In a week, has got seven days. So she drinks one glass of milk in the morning and one glass of milk at night. And we want to find out how many uh, glasses of milk she drinks in a week. And a week has got seven days. So that would be one plus one times seven. Okay, so that's the number statement. One plus one times seven. Now let's draw a model for this. Okay, let's let's start uh, with a model first. So she drinks one glass of milk in the morning and one glass of milk at night. And you want to find out how many she drinks in a week. So that, that's seven days. So we do it times seven. So she drinks two glasses of milk on Monday, two on Tuesday, two on Wednesday, two on Thursday, two on Friday, two on Saturday, and two on Sunday. And that will give you a total of two glasses times seven days a week, which is equal to 14 glasses of milk in a week. Okay, now let's try to solve this number statement. Okay, so the number statement is one plus one times seven. Now we learned just now that we must do all the multiplications and divisions first, okay, from left to right. Now we have one times seven first, so we do that, seven, and then we do all the additions and subtractions from left to right. So we have one plus seven, and, that's, and that gives us eight. But oops, that's not the same as this. So what are we doing wrong here? Well, what we're doing wrong here is we have written the number statement in a wrong way. What, how we want to write this number statement is 1 plus 1 times 7. The 1 plus 1 within the brackets tell you that the entire thing 1 plus 1 is getting repeated over a period of 7 days. And therefore, the entire thing 1 plus 1 is to be multiplied by 7. Okay. So she drinks 1 plus 1, that is 2 glasses of milk in one day, and she drinks that over a period of 7 days. So you get 2 times 7, which is 14 glasses. So the brackets tell you that this is the part of the equation that you want to solve first. So you want to do 1 plus 1 first, and then you want to do the multiplication later. So the new rule and the final rule is that you do all the operations between brackets first. So everything that's between the brackets, you do that first, okay? So everything between the brackets to be done first, and after that, you do all the multiplications and divisions from left to right, and after that, you do all the additions and subtractions from left to right, okay? Now, if you had a number statement such as this, say 48 divided by 2 times 3 plus 1 minus 8. Then how would you do the operations on this number statement? We say that we have to do whatever is in the bracket first, okay? So we do 2 times 3 first, okay? So we keep 48 as such, and this is divided by 2 times 3. So 2 times 3 is 6, and then you keep the rest of it, the rest of the number statement the same. Now what is to be done, done next? Well, the next is to is the division. Because we said that after you have taken care of whatever's in the bracket first, you do the multiplications and the divisions from left to right. So we do 48 divided by 6 next. Now what is 48 divided by 6? Well, 48 divided by 6 is 8. So we get 8. And then you keep the rest of the number statement as such. All right. Now what's next? Well, again, we go from left to right. And now there's no division and there's no multiplication and there's no bracket, okay? So there's all that's left is addition and subtraction. So we do the addition first because that's what comes first. Moving from left to right. So we do 8 plus 1 first. And 8 plus 1 is 9. And 9 minus 8 is what you get in the end. And what is 9 minus 8? 9 minus 8 is 1. So the result of this number statement is...
one. All right, that brings us to the end of this lesson. I think you should now go and do some practice exercises because practice makes perfect. And for practice exercises, visit www.homecampus.com.sg. This is M signing off for now. Bye-bye.